So we are still in the process of rejointing this purdy. Um, this purdy um, is, is, is quite a slow process rejointing, it doesn't happen in five minutes. Um, I often, especially with making a purdy joint pin, it's quite a complicated uh, joint pin to make, one of the harder ones. We will, uh, we've got a, a, bit, a bit more smoking down on the face to do. And then the next phase is we're going to start to make off the, uh, the, the, the ends of the pins because uh, they'll have to be engraved. And then once we've done that, uh, we're pretty much there. Um, there's some little slots to be cut through for the rods. Um, but yeah, that's, that we're, we're just about done. So I'm going to just do the last bit of smoking up and see how we're looking. See now there we're sort of getting a sort of fairly even bearing all the way around the face. Need a little bit more on the extractors, but it's it's all just about there. So we'll just carry on doing a little bit more tickling on there, um, and then uh, we'll then start to move on to the next phase. So now I'm sort of more or less happy with the uh, smoking on the face. Um, there'll be we'll do a, we'll have to do a fra fractional tweak when I get to stage of finishing off the pin, just just to double check everything. Um, and now I'm going to start to sort of uh, make off the joint pin and get the joint pin prepped for engraving. Checking, double double checking before we get to stage and making it all off that 
the base of the joint pin is all bearing correctly at the key points and it's all pulling up tight in the, uh, in the action. So now what I need to do is I need to mark the angle of the of, of the joint pin and uh, now it's all pulling up all it is it is just confirming it is pulling up absolutely perfectly. Um, we'll mark it and then what we'll do is we'll slot it, then make off either ends. So make a series of marks to work out so I know how far I can file down. So it gives me a bit of an idea before I make the pin off. When I, I can make, I'll make a lot of it off in the vise once I've cut the slot. I've got a bit of a, a gauge on how low I can go. That's my mark for basically working out which is the front of the pin and the angle to, to slot it uh, so we get the slot level to the flats of the action. Um, so when you look down the side of the gun, as you turn the pin up it comes to a natural stop and, all, and, the, and the slot is, in the, it is, is square to the side of the action. Mm -hmm. 